if you are somebody who's queer and traveling the world, it's important for you to put that information out there so that other people can actually find it and use it as a resource. I think research is the most important thing and that's why I think blogs like ours that are geared towards queer travel are really helpful because it's not always easy to find that information online. of information for gay men traveling like places where gay men could go like gay beaches or you know bars clubs things like that but it wasn't necessarily geared towards queer women specifically so that kind of motivated us even more from our private instagram account to actually take the next step and maybe actually help people with traveling as queer people or as queer women Traveling as a queer person or a queer couple is really different than traveling um, as any other person. Even in countries where being gay or being queer or trans is legal, there are still people in those countries or those cities or those wherever you're going that maybe don't accept you even if the laws do protect you. Okay, remember we said Malta is very steep. This is where we're going. All the way up this hill. Prime example. <laughs> We're very honest about our experiences wherever we travel and we only put things up there that we felt were a good experience. Like if we do something we feel like it wasn't a good experience, we would say that, but we also wouldn't mention it on our blog because we do not want to be sending people somewhere that we personally feel is unsafe or not going to be a good experience for them. So this is going to be the end of our Malta video. We had the absolute best time here. We absolutely love the country of Malta. And I will say as a lesbian couple and as two women, we've probably have felt the safest here that we've ever felt traveling. Yeah, like we didn't get cat calls a lot. No one was really creepy towards us. And we were like out being affectionate towards each other. Not to mention we saw so many other lesbian couples here in this country. Like we passed a bunch where we were like, we see you. <laughs> A lot of nuances of traveling as a queer person in the world like all of these little things that happen whether it's like people questioning like the amount of beds that you want in your room or questioning you when you're in uber is about your relationship to each other all these little things that can happen along a trip that can make you feel uncomfortable also definitely come to malmo because malmo is such a great city it's so like walkable we took the buses everywhere and it was super easy loved it bye bye You can travel the world and be happy, like being your authentic self, no matter who you are. And I think that that is something that is so important. And I hope that that is the message that we really get across with 27 Travels, because like that is something that is so important to us. Like we're so passionate about authentically just being who we are and being able to be ourselves and also being able to travel the world.